Hi guys, this is Val and welcome back to Val's Kitchen. On today's menu, I'm gonna be doing the crispy popcorn fish, Jamaican style. So here are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. I have some bite-sized bunny, and I soak it. This is the coconut milk. I just mix the coconut milk with a spoon of sugar just to bring up the flavor. You know them look away there? Just bring up the flavor with the bami. I'm going to cut up the fish. This is a fillet fish. It's a snapper fillet fish. All right, you don't have any bones. And you know guys, this is a good idea for your Easter dinner. You, know? you know, Easter coming up and all, you know, so people are always generally gravitate to a lot of fish at Easter time. So this is a nice idea for your Easter. If some people don't like the fish with the bone, so you can try this one. I have a cup of flour and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Our all is the sauce here in Jamaica, the pickle. You know, you make it for your fish, I'm call it Escob Beach. But I'm just gonna do it, give it a little twist. All right, I'm gonna warm the vinegar same way now. Just gonna kind of steam the vegetable in the vinegar same way, but I'm gonna kind of blend it out that chunky you know a little chunky bit but i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna do it so these are all the peppers these peppers are frozen pepper that i have in the freezer you know because kids serve longer you know we never mark it for months you can't have a pepper you know because not one time gone back in the day you know we used to throw a pepper the pepper them used to spoil so we just start freeze my pepper then all right guys so i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna put the the, um, the spicy sauce together. Have some salt and black pepper. Add some black pepper. Some salt to taste. All right. Guys, this is the butter for the chicken. <laughs> this is the butter for the fish, for the popcorn fish. All right. So I'm gonna slice, cut up the fish in cubes, bite size, you know. So this is the size. whatever size you want right but it's a good size with a sharp knife. <laughs> yeah. All right. nice. I 
a little paprika about a teaspoon yeah paprika now is just to give it this nice pretty golden brown you know yeah and after we put a lot even though i'm saying what do i mean i'm saying you know you can't use the paprika yeah right so what i'm, I'm gonna pre the oil now get some oil put in the pot so this is finished right here Put it in some oil, you know it's deep fat fry, you know, guys. So we have to put in a good amount of cooking oil. When the oil eat up now, we'll just come back and show you. I'm gonna put in the, the fish. Alright? Start frying. What I'm gonna be doing is start frying the fish, alright? You have to separate the fish then though, you guys. We don't want them to stick together. Earlier could I look at the robot? Can go on. Fish right now because we don't want it too crowded, so we have to keep the fish them separated enough. We don't want them too loving. Yes. So guys, the next step is I'm gonna put the vegetables together for the fish to make the pickle or the sauce. Yes, to make the hot sauce. All right. Normally, guys, normally when we're doing a regular pickle, we um you know the extra beef to put on the fish. We normally cut the onions a certain way, but in this video now. For this recipe, I'm gonna just cut it up because I'm gonna blend it out, you know, kind of blend it like not too much, but you know, kind of chunky. I'm gonna show you along the way, I'm gonna show you because normally we're not making the pickle, you know, we order make the onion you know, oh, like a shape like this, you know, the round, but because I'm doing it a different way, it's a different liquor, you know, them look away there. So I'm gonna have to cut you all like that. Yeah, so that is that. And with the carrots now, we we'll either shred the carrots or do the carrots in a julienne cut. You know, like even this. Like even a cut here, but we're not gonna really do that today. We just want, you know, a different thing we have today. Yep. And the skelly, I would never would normal. I wouldn't normally use any skelly in my pickle, you know, in my um, escovitch. I would normally use any skelly, but just say a little twist, you know, sometimes you cook your for some different things. And uh, I'm using a piece of garlic. Tell me down in the comment section if anybody freeze them pepper. For me, when I freeze my pepper, it lasts me as long as ever. Yeah. Even though sometimes I'm hard for work with, but you know. And when it tow out too much, you know, you can't even cut it up too much now. Like it. Just kind of get it a little. You know, I'm going to wash my hand right now, you know. Because them pepper here hot. Come on, you can right? Let's have it. Take it more color, you know. Let's get the brown. Let me stay in it for another minute. I have to brown them. Let them cook right through, you know. You understand? We have to fry them right through, guys. So it's about eight minutes because it's not big cuts, you know. So it's about eight minutes now. They've been frying. Yeah, because we're not gonna cook them down or anything. So we have to make sure that them fry through properly and them cook through properly. Okay. What I'm gonna be doing now just put a, a small amount of vinegar, not plenty. Right. Small amount. And 
vegetable them, everything can go in one time because none we're not gonna cook them right through. We just want we just want them get a little flavor from the, the vinegar. A pinch of salt, I know say flavor of the thing with a little salt. A salt make everything come together. Right, so a little pinch of salt. Yes. So what the salt does guys, it just make the flavor, everything come. You know the flavors then come together and taste. You have a nice little flavor. I'm gonna look up eat better, look a nice eat here. And I'm um, just gonna see you know, we'll put a little more vinegar. Right, so low on a low heat, make it take your time and go on, do your thing. You know them way there? Go on, steam it, look a flavor them come up. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is the right color that we want, guys, for the fish. So I'm gonna take them out. Right. You can hear the crunch already, you know. Okay. Nice the color. Yes. Right, so let me put in the next batch. batch. <laughs> so let I just put in the next batch or the next set. Right. As I said, guys, you can just do this your fish, so your fish are different away here, you know. Um, the Easter, you know, you want a little different something. So I'm just say, all right, then let me give me the viewers them the support as I'm a little different type of fried fish. You know them way there? Yes. So the next step I'm gonna put this the um, the vegetable together. Let's get a little blend I just still want it chunky more on the vegetable than to chunky and look. You know? Yes guys so this is the first batch that I took out you know, perfect. I'm gonna take out yeah. Taking out the second batch now. Kitchen, this in a guy, so I don't know what child is looking for. You know, real kitchen setting. Now, we make sure we clean, mess up, and clean up. Clean up. All right, so guys, here's a fish. The fish, them pretty come out perfect. All right, so what the next thing I'm gonna be doing now. Bami, frying the bami, alright? I'm gonna fry the bami in the same oil. You know? Yes. Oh, nice. really right. So guys, this is the color that we're going to put for the bami. Alright? Nice golden brown. Finish frying the fish and the bami. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, just kind of chunk up this liquid in the blender. All right, I'm not gonna blend it out smooth, just you know. I'm gonna show now my this. Spicy hot sauce. I'm gonna put it in the blender. 
and kind of blend it blend it out a little not too smooth you know like rough chop like you know yeah Just kind of chop it. This is the final dish, guys. All right. So I'm gonna take a piece of the fish. You can dip it. You know. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Not too spicy. It's just mild. It's just a mild spice. So, guys, you can all try this and tell me how it come out. All right, comment down below if you like this type of fish. You know, you can just try something different more time, you know? And this was my idea to make the sauce, you know, this way. Yes, so thanks again for watching, guys. Please, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Turn on the post notification bell, guys. And put the settings on all so you won't miss an upload. And thanks again, guys, and bye.